What's good, fam? Trucker Dom here. Trucker Dom here. Trucker Dom here. I wanted to talk about two things that I personally I hate about trucking, and I'm gonna keep this video so freaking short. I promise you, it's gonna be like five minutes or less. Check it out. Since I've been trucking, I noticed this one thing that kind of upsets me more than the other thing. When I come into truck stops, I always see truck drivers who have issues parking their trucks. I always see truck drivers who are in their trucks watching other drivers struggle to park their trucks, right? And why does it upset me? Because not everybody's good at backing up. Backing, in my opinion, is one of the hardest parts about trucking aside from your duty logs, you follow? And what some people fail to understand is every truck is different, every trailer is different, every load is different. Me personally, I'm not the world's best backer, but I know how to get my truck into the spot. You feel me? And for me, it's really not rocket science, but for some other people, it's really hard and it's really challenging. Like since I've been driving and I've had my truck, only one other person has ever driven my truck. And that's because it was a team situation. You follow? I didn't really post it, but it was a team situation. However, the person I was with, she was a great driver. She was a fantastic driver. However, coming back to the truck stop portion, a lot of people at truck stops, they're not very good at backing. Other people tend to watch them. Other people tend to record them. And then they want to post them on Swift fails or, or CDL fails or whatever the case may be. But in my opinion, I think of it to be very, very simple. You see somebody struggling, you help them. Whether that's you guiding them, you showing them what to do, you getting out and drawing a diagram for them, you help that person back because at the end of the day, there was a time when we all couldn't back. You feel me? Whether that's in your training phase, that's when you get over the road, or even a veteran who's having a bad day, just give them a hand. You feel me? Like, a couple weeks ago, I was in um, Atlanta, Georgia at the Petro, and there was a driver, for, um, a driver for BLC. He pulls for Prime. You feel me? And there was a driver for another company. I think it was Maze Trucking or something. You see a lot of them in the Midwest. And the guy from Mays, his tractor was in the spot, but his trailer was offset into the other spot for BLC. So the guy for BLC, you could tell he's been driving for a minute, but he was having issues. What did I do? I grabbed my trusty flashlight and I was like, yo, let me give you a hand. You feel me? I guided him into the spot and I, I don't normally do this, but the guy for BLC, I knocked on his truck. I'm like, hey man, your tractor's a little over. Anybody who knows Petro in Atlanta, that joint is always packed. That, like, I don't care what time you go there, it's always packed. I don't go there that much, but I linked up with Blake that day, so that's why I was there. But anyway, um, you see somebody struggling, you help them. They're having a hard time getting into the dock, you help them. I don't recommend you drive somebody else's truck, but if they're struggling to the point where everybody else is waiting on them, get in there, help them back it up, show them how to back it up, show them how to line up their truck, so that way, for the next time, they know what to do. Because at the end of the day, we're all truck drivers and we're in this together. When we're going down the interstate and there's 10,001 four-wheelers cutting us off, brake checking us, doing all this other stuff, what do we do? We get on our CBs and we talk our nonsense. You feel me? So when somebody's in a truck stop or somebody's at a shipper or a receiver and they're having problems loading up, give them a hand. It takes no time to help another truck driver. You feel me? Some of us are professionals. Some of us are driving because of the pandemic and some of us are just trying something out. But that does not mean you cannot help your fellow truck driver. You feel me? Like, I could back and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I could back very well. You feel me? Like, I've been backing before I was driving for Perm because I used to drive tow trucks in New York City. So I was already backing and I was towing 40 foot school buses. So I was backing and I was towing buses and I'm backing long cheese buses off of a flatbed. So like, I've been doing it. However, help your fellow trucker back the truck because it's not easy for everybody. And my next topic is racism. There is so much racism in trucking. And I kid you not, every day I hear it over the CB like I hear it in the truck stops, like people will be in the truck stops and they'll pass like some 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 snide remark under their breath. Like me personally, I have very thick skin, so that does not phase me in the slightest. Like I don't, it doesn't bother me. Like I'm not built to get offended because of it. Because where I'm from, I'm from New York City. I'm from a predominantly black and Hispanic community, so like I know what it is. Like you know, what I'm trying to say like I have yeah, I have white friends. I have a couple of white friends, and I love them to the bone. You feel me? But like when it comes down to it, like being out here on the road and dealing with racism and all this other stuff, like we're just here to do a job. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm here to make my money, you're here to make your money, I'm here to go home and I wanna go home and you're here to do the exact same thing. So why does all the extra politics, all the extra they actually try to come into play? Drive your truck, I drive mine, you help me, I'll help you. Simple.
thank you for trucking with Dom.